This video is about the introduction to electronic devices. This video is especially for class 12 students studying electronic devices. Uh, in this series of videos, we will cover every single topic on electronic devices, especially for class 12th. And if you want to clear your basics of electronic devices, then this series of video is also for you. So let's start. So first thing first, what is electronics? Now electronics is the branch of physics, which deals with the controlled flow of electrons through inert gases, vacuum or semiconductors. Now, electronics just deals with the control flow of electrons so that we can make the electrons as unit 1 and 0. And computers, all computers work on zeros and ones. Hence, we can use those electrons as zeros and ones to make the computer work. So, to use those electrons, we have to flow them controllably. We have to control their flow. So, Electronics is the branch of physics which deals with the controlled flow of electrons. Now through, we control their flow through inert gases, vacuum or semiconductor. These days we use semiconductors the most. Previously we used vacuum tubes, but now semiconductors are used as electronic devices. Now the first electronic devices were vacuum tubes. But these devices were really big, like for a single computer it takes 2 to 3 rooms to fill a single computer. So vacuum tubes were so big, so they were replaced by transistor which were in fact semiconductors in 1948. And transistors were really small, that's why your mobile phones are not like buildings and your computers are really small. So these semiconductors are like the key for electronic devices these days. They open door for us to make really compact electronic devices. So the study of semiconductor will be the main thing for us in studying electronic devices. Now in this video we won't understand that what is semiconductor but we will see in this video that what were the advantages of semiconductor devices over vacuum tube devices. So let's look at them. Now the biggest advantage of semiconductor devices over vacuum tubes was they were very small like they were really small as compared to vacuum tubes and due to this they changed the whole electronic industry and this was the biggest advantage of semiconductor devices. Now vacuum tubes were slow because uh, to run a vacuum tube you have to heat it and that heating takes some time and because of that they were slow. And also semiconductor devices require low voltage to operate. We need high voltage for vacuum tubes so semiconductor devices can be used in like uh, devices which takes low voltage and which needs low voltage to operate. So semiconductor devices also can operate in low voltage. Now semiconductor devices are also of low cost. Because for making a semiconductor device, you mainly need silicone and other materials. But for vacuum tubes, you need a lot of materials. And also semiconductor devices had longer life. Semiconductor devices were also efficient. Like they don't heat up and they don't waste the energy. They simply use. Hence, semiconductor devices were really better than vacuum tubes. And that's why they were replaced and the whole world was changed. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will understand the classifications of solids on the basis of their conductivity and resistivity. And there we will understand what are metals, what are insulators and also there we will understand what are semiconductors. And we'll learn other things about semiconductors. So to watch that video, click this card right up here or click the video in the end screen. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.